<laughs> Hi, Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine here with Myra Coyle and Rusty Williams, the dynamic duo of Performance Boat Center Auto Alert uh, Superstock team. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Rusty? Doing great. Uh, so what's the latest on uh, your race team? So Auto Alert got on for a sponsorship for another year, so we're really excited about that. The uh, stock boat, uh, you know, we're going to be campaigning it uh, this, this fall in New York year, and we're really excited about it. Hopefully we can get, uh, get another national championship. Nice. Rusty, you're relatively relatively new to racing, but you guys had a phenomenal season last year. Uh, how'd that feel? It was great getting the first year uh, under the belt, uh, ready for the second year. Um, uh, definitely uh, be stronger in the first part of the season, and uh, hopefully that get a get an actual win under the belt. How long did it take you to get uh, comfortable in the cockpit with Myrick and, and, and get to jive with each other? It probably still is. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, well, considering the first time that me and Myrick were ever in that boat together was uh, testing in uh, Cocoa Beach. Cocoa Beach. We literally had never been in the boat together prior to that, and uh, we went out, and ran the first race, and got second. So I mean, um, hopefully relatively quickly. Uh, so you guys are no longer doing the Super Cats. This no, season. this year we're gonna sit sit this year out in Super Cat. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, we don't have uh, a boat to race, and we haven't went to build one yet. So not only timing, but we were spread up real thin uh, at work, and you know, with racing two boats last year, and it just wasn't uh, it wasn't a great fit for uh, what we were doing. So we're just gonna sit this year out and uh, campaign the uh, the uh, stock boat and try our best at that. Does that give you more focus to concentrate on one team rather than jumping into one or two? Yeah, to be honest with you, I mean, we did we raced the stock boat uh, a lot, but. I really, we really didn't start testing it until mid-season after we got the MTI running back. Yeah. I mean, and due due to that, I mean, it, it was taking a lot of time. You yeah. know, uh, there there was some times, uh, like right before uh, lake race with the MTI, where we were pulling like 24-hour days for a couple of days in a row. And yeah. you know, so then so then you're more worried about the work you're doing to that, and you're just like, well, stock boat's good enough. Right. It's, it's your feeling. It's like good enough. We can compete. Uh, I don't know if we're going to shine, but we'll compete. And uh, Andy did a great job making sure that we finish every race. Yeah. And that was that was the biggest thing in the uh, battle of attrition for a national championship. It's it's so hard to get a national championship due to the fact that it comes from everything from the guy driving the truck there, not wrecking or falling asleep, and then you know getting there, go through testing and training, and it, it's a, a lot of work just to go load. Yeah, no, I bet. So, Rusty, I mean, after uh, one full season on your belt, what's your prediction for your season this year? Uh, National World Camp, hopefully. Nice. Do you concur? I, I like that positivity. These guys. And, and now that we, we can't call him a rookie anymore, right? Which that's kind of disappointing because that was fun yeah. calling him a rookie all the time. Well, well, you'll have to uh, tell us about uh, the rest of the chatter between you guys. Um, Performance Boat Center, both uh, the former uh, PBC Jimmy John's team and now the uh, PBC Auto Alert team. Crowd favorite all the time. Always put on exciting races. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.